Hello, I'm Dr Ed Sutherland and I'm a lecturer in Cognitive Psychology here at the University of Leeds. When I took my psychology degree over 20 years ago, I spent some time studying the nature of logic and how well, or not, humans apply the rules of logic when they engage in their day-to-day -day reasoning activity. I found it one of the most interesting areas of study that I covered as part of my studies and I went on to complete my PhD research in this area. I continue to have more than a passing interest in it today. Some of the ideas and concepts in logic are difficult to grasp at first, but if you persevere, I think that you too will find it one of the more interesting areas of psychological study. After all, what could be more interesting to psychologists than trying to think about the way in which we think? In this podcast, I will cover a number of issues of importance in the study of logical reasoning. Much of this is purely related to the nature of logic, as it is important to understand this first. I will then turn attention to what research in reasoning has to tell us about the nature of human logic. Initially, we will consider what type of reasoning we are dealing with, and we will focus primarily on deductive reasoning. I will explain why some conclusions are valid and others invalid. Then I will summarise research that has tried to explain and examine how well people reason. Finally, I will consider one theoretical approach that has attempted to explain the pattern of performance that we will have seen. Logic is often thought of as a rather abstract, cold and unhuman activity. But there are many times in everyday activity that we engage in reasoning of some form or another. Johnson, Laird and Byrne, in their seminal 1991 book, Deduction, outlined a number of ways in which logic was important in human activities. They argued that logic is central to common activities such as formulating plans, determining the consequences of hypotheses, interpreting and formulating instructions, and to pursue arguments and negotiations. I can tell you from personal experience that a PhD in logic means that you tend to win quite a lot of arguments and I rather suspect that my first wife would agree. From what Johnson, Laird and Byrne have suggested it seems clear that logic and reasoning are central to the sorts of things that we do every day while going about our lives and yet on the whole we remain unaware that we are engaging in this activity of reasoning. 